Madison with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? Two Little Raindrops, a fun adventure through the water cycle, written by Adele Lamothe and illustrated by Stephen Tu. Two little friends, tiny droplets so light, lived in a cloud which was puffy and white. One was called Splish, he had eyes like a fish, and one was called Splash with a fancy mustache. One day in spring, the friends were at play. The sky became dark and the clouds were all gray. The friends felt so heavy and weak at the knees. They battled to float so they had to break free. They squeezed through the crowd and with a big sigh, they jumped off the landing to soar through the sky. They raced through the air, heading straight for the ground and landed on trees with a splishy splash sound. They felt a lot better, as light as can be, but then they remembered they missed family. They started to worry as they looked around. How will we get home? They thought with a frown. They slid down a leaf, landing high on a hill. We'll find a way home, together we will. With a swish and a swoosh, they slipped down the peak. Look for some water, a stream we must seek. They dashed over grass and they whizzed past a rock, swerving around with a kick and a knock. Faster and faster they moved with a thrill until they saw water, a stream on the hill. Downhill they went, finding their way, meeting the stream with a splash and a spray. The stream was alive, heading straight for the lake. It flowed over stones with a rumble and shake. Wee, said the friends as they started to giggle. They swerved and they swam and they jumped with a jiggle. The lake was right there and the droplets went plop, hitting the surface. They came to a stop. Gone was the darkness and gray overhead. The sky became bright and the sun shone instead. The droplets relaxed as they drifted around. The breeze was so warm, there was barely a sound. The air became hot with the change in the weather. The friends started feeling as light as a feather. They started to rise as they turned into vapor and floated up higher than the biggest skyscraper. They flew past a valley with fields in a row and soared over daisies as white as the snow. It felt a lot colder up there in the sky. They changed into water while floating up high. So many new droplets were joining the pair. They all formed a cloud. Their whole family was there. We made it, they yawned as they lay down their heads. Tonight they'll sleep well in their soft, cozy beds. Sleep tight, little ones. The end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book. Nice. If you would like to purchase this book for your at-home library, you can click on the link in the description box below to support the talented authors, illustrators, and publishers. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more read-alouds, do some science experiments, watch videos about letters and numbers, and do some really fun arts and crafts projects with me. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!